get used to promoting yourself as the brand because when you're promoting a photography company, people don't know, am I getting you? Or are you going to hire some joker to come shoot it? This is the Cardi method. You've never heard any household name photographer be called Technopix Photographic Services. You hear Helmut Newton, you hear Rankin, you hear Jeff Lipsky, you hear Jill Greenberg, you hear Annie Leibovitz. You don't hear like Leibovitz Photographic, you know what I mean? It's just the photographer's name. So go like that. So that's all part of developing your brand. That's part of developing your brand. So when you successfully complete assignments for clients, you're building your personal brand. Satisfied clients lead to referrals, they lead to testimonials, and they lead to a growing reputation. So an editorial photo credit, like an editorial photo credit in a major publication can open doors to ongoing work. Like I have a nice editorial photo credit from a pretty well-known publication it's called vogue and here it is right here my photo in vogue and here down here steve cardi so um it's taken me a career to get to the point where i'm published in vogue so a photo credit in a major publication opens doors to ongoing work that you can't even wrap your head around, honestly. Versatility and adaptability. When you get assignment photography, when you do assignment photography, different assignments require different skills, from portraits to landscapes to event photography. Whatever you do, whatever your specialty is, you got to be versatile within your specialty. That versatility makes you adaptable and capable of handling a wide range of future projects. So remember this. Assignment photography is the first step that you're going to take when your work is ready. It's something that I take people who are in my professional photographer's accelerator. That's something they don't even know that is coming up, but the fact that they're going to be seeking and taking on assignments while they're in the accelerator. It's challenging, but it's a rewarding experience. It's going to help you build an incredibly strong portfolio. It's going to help you gain real world experience, and it's going to lay the foundation for an incredibly successful photography career. So it begins. By the way, my goal with all my professional photography content it's simple i have one goal my goal with all my pro photography education is to help photographers just like you transition from your current life to that of a life of a full-time working photographer a full-time working creator i can guide you but to achieve your goals you need to have goals in the first place now, every goal that I've ever set my mind to, I've achieved it. And believe me, I'm no more special than you. I'll say this again. Every goal that I've set my mind to, I've achieved. But I'm going to say again, I'm no more special than you. I'm just determined, dedicated, and disciplined. My mission here is so simple, to help you understand every single framework necessary to become a working pro photographer. Everybody starts at the beginning. And for some of you who are watching me, parts of this process of becoming a pro photographer will seem easier than others. For some of you, every step of this journey is going to be a challenge. But every challenge that you're, that you're given in life will test your resolve to see if you really want to be a working photographer, a working creative. I try with all my content to be as clear as possible, knowing that your actions are often dependent on your understanding.